What's going on YouTube? How is it going? Today we have something new on the workbench. This is the Typhon 6S BLX. This is the ready to run buggy. Uh, the plan for the buggy is we're making a speed run vehicle. Okay, so first thing is first, I do want to mention my local hobby store. Um, let's put a sign up right now. There it is. Slot and Wing Hobbies. That there is my local hobby store. I want to give them a big thank you for always having things in stock. Uh, yeah, they're great. If you guys are in the area of Champaign, Illinois, I highly, highly recommend shooting over to Slot and Wing and uh, checking out their inventory. They also do a eBay inventory as well. So you can check them out on eBay. They really don't have a website. Um, their website I'll leave down below, but you really don't buy things on that website. I know I did have a few questions on that. Um, so they're mostly for locals, but they do do an eBay, they sell used, they do have new items on there as well. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, there will be a link down below, so make sure you go check them out. Let's check this bad boy out. We're going to check the front of the box. It's saying that it can reach 70 mile an hour out of the box with the pinion and a 6S LiPo. There is a speed pinion in this box as well. So that is awesome, but that is the front of the box. Look at that, designed to be fast. So, yep, just a few things. Uh... Low drag wheels. Um, I do have fat. Scrab them. We will be changing to the hoons, the boots. And right now, guys, Horizon has these on sale on their special. Uh, the car is actually on sale right now too, uh, for four twenty. I think it is. That's a really really good deal. Um, but yeah. So I think these are 20 bucks a set or $19 a set of two, which is a very good deal. Some of the upgrades, aluminum servo saver, uh, center diff, quick motor removal, sliding motor mount, your SLT3, IC5 connectors, We'll go ahead and do a quick scan so you can just kind of take a look at all that. Again, the spectrum receiver, the servo that it has, does have the Firma 150 amp Smart 4S to 6S ESC, the 4074 250 kV brushless motor, all that good stuff. We pretty much already talked about a lot of this stuff. Um, a downforce uh, wing, a compatible front top plate, the waterproof receiver box. It looks like it has a full closed seal. I'm sure it's not completely waterproof. Nothing is, but that'll definitely help from water getting in there. The uh, motor with safety pinion, so the little safety clip. Metal Gear Servo, very nice. All right, we got it pulled out of the box. Let's take a look. Here is your radio, the uh, SLT3. Very nice basic radio that they have. I Not a bad radio at all. I am gonna say though, um, we are going to go ahead and change one thing right away before we do our first speed run. We are going to be changing to the DX6C. Um, I'm, I use this as my bash radio. This is the radio I use for just all my bash cars. So we're just going to bind that right up because the receiver is already in there. 
And that'll be the only thing we're gonna change stock on this rig on our first run. Will be just that. So then the buggy, my desk is a, my workbench is kind of a mess right now. A lot of stuff going on. But here's our bag. There's our speed pinion. Let's see what else comes in the box. So this is the speed pinion. So if you want to hit 70 mile an hour, this is the pinion you're going to need with a 6S LiPo. Our goal in this speed run vehicle, guys, is I want to hit 100. I'd like to hit 100, and I eventually once we hit that one, which I believe we will do, um, I want to try to go as fast as we can go. I want to see how fast we can get this thing to go. So, tools, very nice, little T-handle tool set. Um, these are little shock uh, dampeners. We have shims for our bits. A nice little sticker sheet. This looks to be yep, max performance. Kind of giving you your gear ratios and all that stuff. Very nice. And then we have the manual, which you just take a quick look. Looks like this kind of... Wow, there was that. Oh, okay. So this does the Creighton, the Typhon, the Notorious, and the Mojave. Does all the vehicles on this manual, which is, that's really cool. Kind of saves them and having to print all different types of stuff. But anyways, let's get to the buggy. I love the body. It's got like a matte finish. I wish it was green, but you know what? We can't have everything. But green is the ultimate color in the world. If you guys agree, hit that like button and uh, comment that down below. Or if you don't like green, let me know. Don't just bash blast. That is the body. Here we go. Metal servo horn. I like that. We have our battery connector. Yes, let's just do. Oh, look at that. That's the uh, first time I've seen that. Height adjustment that helps hold the uh, lipo in place, which is really cool. Suspension feels really nice. You know what I need here? It's very dark, I know. Sorry about that. This is a metal black chassis, so it's going to be really hard to see. But yeah, very nicely built. So what is the goal? What are we going to do here? Um, like I said, we're going to run it stock. Minus, we are going to put the uh, DX6C radio in it right away. We're just going to bind it literally straight to the receiver that's in there. And we're going to run this thing. Um, we're going to run this on 4S, see what our speeds get. And then we're going to run on 6S and see what our speeds get. This will be the next video after this video comes out. So you will see what the speeds are completely stock. The very next video after that video is going to be we'll change, put the speed gear in, change the tires out to the road tires that we have, and then run a 4S and then a 6S. After that, we're going to start doing some huge changes to really make this vehicle fast. Um, so stick around with me for this journey and let's see how fast we can all together get this vehicle to go. Um, if you're excited about this like I am, leave a comment down below. If you have any ideas for me, leave a comment down below. Anything will help. Like I said, this is kind of really the first time I've ever done this. My goal right now is to get this car to hit a hundo. And then after that, try to go faster and faster and just see how fast we can really get this thing to go. I did see that I can uh, 3D print a front arrow thing for it. Maybe we'll do that. Like I said, lots of plans. Hopefully, we can uh, do it. Anyways, guys, I want to appreciate every one of you uh, for subscribing, following along, watching all my videos. 
It's been amazing. It's been fun. I am on the road to hitting a thousand subscribers. So if you have it, please down below, hit that subscribe button and let's get my thousand marker and let's hit it. It's been a goal of mine and I cannot wait. Again, I want to thank Slot and Wing Hobbies. Uh, like I said, there'll be stuff for them down in the description. If you are local in the area, go check them out. You will not be disappointed. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. Take it easy. Peace.